So let me just take you on a journey as to how we catch fish in our little community and in most country areas in most of our Caribbean countries you would find this is the way they would do any type of fishing except for the city areas where you would have more of those big pira going out there and having all of those um, vessels catching the fish with, with people on board. But more in a country area, you would find situations like this where they, come, they would have the group of fishermen and then the people that is on the beach would also come in and then it would be a whole fun affair. Them pelican them having a baby. Which one? Which one? Which one? Now even though you're on the beach and you're helping pulling this scene from the time you were there to the time the scene is fully out and it's everything is on shore. At the end of the day, this is individuals, this is their business, this is their livelihood. They work so hard to set these nets to go out there and pull this scene. It's not easy. And even though you spend that time or hour or however long you help assisting and pulling in that scene with that catch of fish, you still cannot be disrespectful. As you notice, the people that's not grabbing any fish on the ground because they are respectful of the fishermen that work so hard to, to bring this catch in. Yes, and out of respect, you know, you would want to make sure that you have their permission to take up their fish because at the end of the day, this is their dollar. Yes, cool. So for all them fish, then you can man, <laughs> you can't get a fish in here, that's doing. So once this has come ashore, they put in their basket on their vehicles and take to the market as you saw in my hall where I went to the farmer's market. So these individuals will go across there and sell their fish and the persons that were there assisting with that pull to bring that sail in will also get a fish or two or three or four or five. But once these fishermen know that you were there and assisting all along, you would be able, they would give you a fish. But again, it's about respect. You don't just grab a people fish and go. You know what I mean? So they have an understanding. The community have an understanding when it comes to this. So now let's get into this recipe where I prepare a fish. So it, it is already scaled. So now I'm going to fillet this fish. We remove all the fin and everything on the inside was removed. So now let's fillet this fish. I am going to pan sear this with some um, lemon zest and some garlic in some butter. So it'll be a brown butter, lemon zest, garlic sauce. Oh. We would see whatever the title is. It will be somewhere around there it might look like when the video is out. So let's see what the name would be when I'm done with this. All right, so once I fillet I'm going to only fillet one side and the other side you will see as the video go along but I didn't do the both side because I decided I can pan sear and get some slices out of the other side so I can get more out of this fish instead of just having two pieces and the bone you actually would see that broth I made with that uh, bone and other seasoning and the brine that I made from my beef steak Right, we use that brine that bone from this fish and the seasoning all the goodies good good seasoning from my garden and stuff that we use to season this fish would also be put in that Recipe so look out for that So when I'm done as I said fillet in this side of the fish I am then going to fillet the other side actually and then 
I am not going to just leave it as one slab. I'm going to remove the skin on half. So I'm showing you now, I fillet the other one, but I did half of that one. And the other half, I cut it into slices. I have that bone I'm going to use, as I said, for a uh, stuff that I wanna make. And I think I may use the head also, or just cook it for my dogs. And now I'm going to wash everything with some lime because I really not a lover of working with fish. I, I don't like to work with I like to cook it, but I don't like to clean it. I don't like, yes. So once it is washed properly, I literally use 10 lime to clean this fish. So what I have decided to do with the other part of the fish that was filet, I removed the skin on half of it and I left the other piece of it with the skin on. So I'm going to pan a piece of it with the skin off of the fish and the other part of that piece of fish I'm going to pan a with it. So we have some ginger and garlic and lime and black pepper and salt. And then I am going to put some thyme, some pimento, and other herbs that is in my garden, in my mortar, and I am going to give that a good smushy whoosh. So all of the garlic and the ginger and the salt and everything is there. So now let's see about the thyme and the pimento. So I'm using a big thyme and two different type of small thyme and I'm going to use normally I would use salt to mash this up but today I did not use salt because I already seasoned with salt so I didn't want to add salt to this to break it down so what I decided to do I sat, I decided to use two tablespoons of lemon juice so the acidity will help break down the herbs right so i'm going to use one or two tablespoons just to help break it down and then i'm going to add it to the other um, rest of seasoning that we use thus far in the fish it's always good to go to the scene once you could access that go to the scene and get your fish nothing like good fresh fish so as I said, I use pimento, as you all know, fresh out of the garden. And I am blessed and I am thankful for all the things that these hands has brought forth in 2020. And I decided to add some more small thyme. As I said, I didn't add no salt to this. I just used the acidity from the lemon juice to break down these herbs so as i said i'm going to now add it to the fish with the ginger the garlic the salt and freshly grind black pepper and give everything a good mix so this is perfectly well seasoned and i did this early the morning and i started to cook around two o'clock so I let that marinate it. So the longer you leave it to marinate is the more flavor this fish is going to get. But as I'm going to do it in a butter sauce, the butter has salt also. So I know it is also going to get some more seasoning and flavor with the butter. And so I'm going to do another fish recipe. So by the time I'm ready for another fish recipe, this fish will be totally well soaked. In the next three or four days, I'm going to do that big fish with some a pineapple drizzle glaze, a glaze that I learned from a fellow Trinbegonian YouTuber. Everything homemade with Ellie. I will also leave her link. So as I said, I'm gonna do half of it. So I'm gonna cut off the skin on just half of this, right? And then that half, I'm going to leave the skin on and that half, I'll take off the skin. So then I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. You could 
if you want to use less salt you can use less salt but I wanted more salt because I only let this marinate for about three hours so once that is melted and the butter is really hot but you want the butter to get to a nice dark brown color before adding the fish you want that nice nutty flavor from the butter so then you're going to add the fish and then I'm going to add the lemon zest I used one tablespoon and a half of lemon zest and I use a head of garlic I love garlic and I love a lot of lemon and that lemony taste because as you know I am not a lover of fish so to enjoy fish for me it has to have a lot of lemon <laughs> So I left it on each side for five beautiful minutes. Give it a turn. And I'm going to do the same with the other piece. So I added the lemon juice and remove it after once I let it settle for a little bit. And that same sauce that we just make, the butter sauce, we're going to just drizzle that over the fish once we're done. So now let's put together a nice little onion and sweet peppers and, and that carrots and tomatoes I'm still frying it in the same pan that I just used the pan see so it have all that buttery goodness and all of that still in the pan and even though I drizzled some of it on the fish there is still enough to saute all of this I also use a lot of garlic in this and I let I covered that on a medium fire and there it was five minutes later there it was all cooked looking so good onion is beautifully caramelized and now let's place it on top of the fish and so we're gonna have that pansy fish with those veggies then I decide wait I have some potatoes there let me do something different so what I did was I boiled some potato, no salt in the potato because this has a lot of uh, salt and a lot of flavor already and what I'm going to do with the potato, I am going to add some cheese so I'm going to make some cheese center potato balls or stuffed, stuffed mashed potato, simply put. So before we get to the mashed potato, I'm just showing you how it looks with all the vegetables and the caramelized onions and that nice sauce, that buttery sauce that we just make to cook the fish. Oh, it was so lemony and uh, it was just good. It was, it was really good. The sauce was really good. And then we still had some sauce where we cooked the veggies in. So everything was full of flavor perfectly well seasoned as you see I didn't add any extra salt in that cooking of the veggies because it's already have so much seasoning so as I said this is the mashed potato here I did not add nothing to the mashed potato I just mashed it and bring it in a bowl put it in my hand close it up and that was it for me and the mashed potato just something different you know you bite into the mashed potato and you will get some cheese. So you could put this in the oven and let it get ooey gooey, or you could just leave it like that. So that is what I did to this fish. Thanks for watching. Bye.